The prism sorts out the white light into colors. We call that dispersion. So now you may think that the wavelength determines the color. But that's not necessarily true. You would think that if I show you the longest wavelengths possible, that the eye can see that it's always red. And if I show you the shortest wavelengths, that the eye can see it will always be blue or violet. But that's not necessarily true. Let me start by showing you the color triangle, something that most of you should be very familiar with. The color triangle already is quite bizarre because it tells you that by mixing three colors and only three, you can effectively make all others. It's called additive mixing. The red, the green, and the blue. There's no wavelength anywhere in there of yellow light. But yet, if you mix them properly, you can make yellow light. There's no wavelength anywhere in there of purple, but yet, if you want to, you can make purple light. So if we can have the first slide, then you will be able to see this color triangle. And I'll tell you how this color triangle has to be used. Let me here very schematically redraw that triangle, but very schematically. And so we would have here red, and here we would have blue, and here we would have green. Now, if you want to make, for instance, this color here, so I put this point here, then you draw three lines to that point. One, two, three. Now you have 50% chance that you do it right and 50% that you do it wrong. You may think that you have to put in this much red and this much green. It's exactly the other way around. This is the amount of red that you put in there. And this is the amount of green that you put in there. And this is the amount of blue that you put in there. And then you get sort of that color. So if you go all the way here, where you have yellow, so you sort of here. Well, then you put in this much red and this, this much green. This is not new to you. The color triangle we teach students as physicists, and it works amazingly well. Our televisions are based on this. They have three electron guns, the red, the green, and the blue. And your monitors at home of your computers have also these three guns. And by mixing the intensity of the three colors, you can more or less get every color you want to. Now, if you don't set the three electron guns properly, then you may run into a problem that the faces that you see may look reddish or they may look purple or greenish, but that's a matter of a fine adjustment, fine tuning. I have here a box that I can use to mix colors. I have red light, green light, and blue light. So if we want to make yellow, then we have to put in uh, oh, almost an equal amount of red as green. So we can just give it a shot. We turn on the, the green and the red. That's not bad. It's yellowish. If you want to make purple, you go all the way here. You have to put in a huge amount of blue and a little bit of green. If you hear, this is the amount of green you put in. So let's try that. Let's try to make purple. So we need a huge amount of blue and a little bit of green. So we turn the green down a little. Then you get purple. Nothing new. You're already bored. You hear five minutes and you're already bored. You're telling me, look, what are you telling me that is new? 
Not yet. All right, so we can now turn them all three on. And then, you guessed it, you come out somewhere here and you get some white is light. So this is all fine. And this is what we teach our students. And most of us can sleep with that.